Okay, so here we have our first live demonstration of DDR4. Really, the launch of DDR4 is going to be at the end of this year, 2013, most likely in servers. This particular platform, uh, it's an Intel development system, you know, hence the kind of unique configuration. And what we're showing is an ECC, an um, um, upper ECC DIMM. Um, it's actually sitting on top of an interposer board. Our friends at Tata and Macaulay came out with an analyzer to show not only, you know, we're not faking it, this is really DDR4 running. We've got a mem test running in the background, a little visual on the screen to see it's going. That's strapped through to this box here, the Keeper 480, and you can see the reads and writes activity. This particular module is running at DDR4 2133. So when you look at the DDR technology in general, and this information is in the slides as well, um, you can see we've, we've gone just in a matter of just several years, right? In the last decade, we've gone from DDR to DDR4, and it's almost an exponential curve of performance where back at DDR, we're at 266 megahertz introduction speeds. DDR4 is going to introduce at 2133. But today, to get 2133, you've got to overclock. Got to have a special processor and system set up on it. That's going to be the, the kind of the starting point for DDR4 for servers, desktop, and notebook. Um, the big benefits of DDR4, similar to DDR3 in that progression, is we're now down to 1.2 volts. Uh, we've got the faster speed and we have a much higher capacity. So, not just for your systems, but even the mobile devices. So, the customers at Micron serving, uh, whether it's your smartphones, your tablets, um, your ultra thins. That memory is going to have lower power, so you get longer battery life, lower temperatures, easier to cool, you get the higher density in a smaller space. So it's just that natural progression from DDR to DDR2 to DDR3 and now DDR4. Uh, benefits to consumer when you look at the entire platform with the speed benefits of DRAM, the new processors come out and the chipsets, and SSD. The experience for the consumer is just going to be that much better. You know, application designers can program more into their things that are you're not going to slow the system down because of some of the limitations. You have a lot more horsepower in the whole system to run faster and get a better user experience.